really? Okay, hold on, guys. I'm fairly... Oh, there we go. That was weird and slow. Sorry about that. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Family Realm. I am finally on 1.20 client. And as we can see, I can see all the really cool patterns on the jugs or whatever they're called now. Look at this. These are so cool looking. This is so neat. This is awesome. This is really cool. I also have like proper particles coming out of the cherry trees now. They are the proper particle shape. This was very important. Trust me. <laughs> today, I don't know what we're doing. Um, what are we doing today? What are you guys doing? Ah. Laddy Daddy's getting blaze rods. What are you doing, Thomas? Adventuring exploring? You're actually letting, allowing yourself back into the nether? <laughs> That's true. Don't forget to set your spawn outside of the nether portal before you head in. I sh should have left a bed there. I think what I'm gonna do is gonna go... How do you drop this camel? Oh goodness. Um, push spacebar? Okay. Camel didn't want to get up. Truthfully, I totally feel him on that. Um, I think I'm gonna go make... Since we're up on the roof, I think I'm gonna go make a, um... Pork chop farm. Because I keep running out of food. So I'm gonna go do that, I think, today. So... Let's go over here and look and see what I need to get. That's cool, at least. Uh, I can't remember what the farm is called now. What did I call the farm? <laughs> Prop no, but what did I call it in my files is the problem. Yeah, I don't know either. So, sorry chat, you're staring at my thingy here. Hoglin farm, there we go. Materialist. Um, no. There's no thingy over here for taxi at the moment. 401 cobble. Red stained glass, I'm going to do is okay, I see what I did. Okay. We're gonna switch this up. We're gonna do nether rat for a cobble. Cobble for a red stained glass. How many stacks of that? That's six and a quarter. Well, we'll say six and a half stacks. And two stats. Of ooh, grumbly. I hear a grumbly llama, llama. I no, camel. <laughs> well, I hear a grumbly llama too, but that's because I keep calling the camel the wrong thing. Okay, we're gonna do deep slate for that. That's a lot of torches. 25 hoppers and soul sand. 16 dirt. Oh, I only needed 16 warp fungus. I wonder why I thought I needed over 25. Um, 16 trap doors. Oh, you got prezzies? I like prezzies. Golden apple! Um, 
I'm gonna put it in here because I don't need it right now and I don't want to accidentally eat it. Not that that really matters much, but you know. Okay, first off, let's get the stuff. I need to make a whole bunch of hoppers. So, means I need a whole bunch of iron and a whole bunch of chests. Um, my goodness, you're very grumbly today. Let's see. So that's 25 chests, which is enough for the hoppers, but I'm going to need more chests to collect the pork chops. So let's see. I need some more of that. And let's just go get some more bamboo. Ah! What was that? That was some weird... Thingies going on there. Okay. What? Okay. Okay, hold on. My keybinds seem to have gotten weird. Uh... No, I do not want that. There we go. Why it's not letting me Okay. What the heck? was weird. Updated my mods and they got all weird. set up a bamboo farm next. Maybe I'll do that after I do the... Oh, that's gonna take a lot of iron, though. Maybe I'll make an iron farm first. I kind of want to keep them. We're gonna have to, like, once we start revamping the village, we'll have to move things around, but I think we definitely need to put more cherry trees back in once we do that. I really like the cherry trees. They're really pretty. And they give a nice ambiance. should be in like lots of nice good chests. Okay. We need 25 hoppers. That took so much iron. Definitely doing an iron farm next. Holy crap on a stick. Okay. So that's the hoppers. We also need a whole crap ton of um, torches. Where's the coal? Coal. Here we go. Oh, that's more torches than we need, actually. Hold on.
Okay. That's still a bit more than we actually need, but that's okay. So. I keep forgetting where I'm putting the stuff. Like, okay, there we go. Okay, that. And. That goes in there. Now, where's my list? I had a list. Okay. Six and a half stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two stacks of apple. One, two. One stack of deep slate. No, that's basalt. We do have double deep slate, right? I'm pretty sure we have. Okay, one stack of deep slate. 101 torches, 25 hoppers, and 25 soul sand. Okay, where's the soul sand? Good enough. For me. Um, 16 dirt. 16 fungus. Where's the fungus? There it is. And 16 trap doors. Ugh, I need more wood. Okay. That's it. Um, woody wood wood. Um, actually, let's go chop down one of those cherry trees. Don't worry, we'll replant. I mean, they're cherry trees. They're already kind of wonky, so... So peaceful compared to what it was like yesterday. Fast leap decay. <laughs> I will never, that will never grow old for me. I swear to God, I love fast leap decay. Uh oh. Oh dear. Did you set your spawn at the thingy? Okay. Oh. Our Amazon delivery is almost here. So we need to be prepared to go get that. Oh, congratulations, Llama! Okay. That's a lot of saplings out of that tree, too. Wow. Yes, we have the more trapdoors data pack. So that's why I got so many trapdoors out of that. Oh, I also need. Ooh, okay, hold on. I need a whole bunch of ladders. Whole bunch. Um, okay. Not much bamboo left. Maybe a better off chopping down another tree. Okay, hello, iron golem standing on the bamboo. You look kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I'm probably gonna just. That's not gonna make a lot of sticks at all. So I think I'm just gonna. Use up the rest of this. Sticks. That's not enough letters. We have now taken to staring out the window at where the Amazon delivery guy is.
You can do it! Come on, Amazon guy! Come on, everybody. Let's cheer on the Amazon guy. Amazon delivery guy. some more ladders. We can always use ladders. Although I think that's enough. And I'm going to grab an extra chunk of salt or something. Actually, oh. that was the wrong thing. piece of glass and hope I don't like put it in the wrong spot okay now let's head up to the roof and build us a farm Woo! I build this farm like all the time this is like one of the farms that I always build um, because I really hate being food insecure in Minecraft because I keep running out of food when I'm trying to do stuff and it upsets me because I, I feel like, one, I'm not very good at surviving in general anyways, so <laughs> it, it, it having the fact that I can't eat as often as I feel like I need to keep my heart and pork chops or saturation or whatever it is up is, is bothersome. And then the fact that we're on hard mode now, so we actually can starve to death. Yeah, yeah, starving to death is not fun. So, I'm going to go build a pork chops farm so I have food. Now, Llama and Platty Daddy, like, actually enjoy farming and stuff. Like, in, like, growing crops kind of farming. So, they are not likely to take part in the pork chops as much as I am. But that's okay. We can all play the way we like and have fun. Also, I just... <laughs> Speaking of... Okay, so here we are on the roof. And we need a crimson forest, which we are in. Very handy, that. Hey! Hi! I can see you. Okay, so what do we want to build this? I'm going to look at the map here for a second. Okay, so this is where our um, home nether portal... Oh my goodness! I can see you on my map just like running into like... I can't see the mobs, but I just see you running in. You were slain by a blaze! How surprising! I... You had a pair of gold boots. That that how 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 much help for those there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go off a bit because this is where our mining desert is, over here portal, and this is our roof portal, and this is our pet portal in the Nether. So this we're gonna be like back and forth in the Nether over this area a lot. So I think I'm going to put the farm actually over here somewhere so that our mob caps don't interfere. Let me just throw a waypoint down. There. To give me something to walk towards because otherwise I will get lost.
I kind of wish that replay mod had up had updated. It hasn't updated yet. They haven't even hit their beta. But because it would be fun to be able to just like record time lapses of all of the like really cool builds I do here. But unfortunately, replay mod is not up yet. All right, we're almost to the pork chops. Pork chops. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay. So, let's plop down our schematic. I don't... That was the wrong one. Um, this design, actually, I have pretty nearly memorized, so I don't need the schematic quite as much as you would think, but it's always nice to have something to double check yourself when you're building. So let's just move this to be a little closer to, there we go. There. That's just a little closer to like the little waypoint. Okay. So we're going to plop down some chests. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my flint and steel. See, this is... So I'm going to toss all my stuff Here. Handy. And now I'm going to head back home and grab the flint and steel because we want to have this lit before we head up to make the AFK spot because the hoglins will start spawning almost oh, yeah, immediately. And um, we don't want them to just hang out in there to attack us when we try to open it to light it, because that would suck. I see, are you the home portal? I think you're the home portal, because I think that's the mining desert. I'm getting pretty decent FPS right now, too. The, the improvements they made to the lighting engine are pretty awesome. being followed by hoglins. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go towards the desert. So how is everybody today? I actually can't like stop to see how many viewers I have, so I don't know how many people are watching. But if you're watching, say hi. It's okay. I mean, you can lurk if you want. I understand wanting to lurk. But if you feel like it, say hi. Let's have a chat. Just just heard from, from my partner. I should have brought a TNT to blow up the hoglins. And I'm the ruthless one for making a hoglin farm. <laughs> That's totally a creeper. <laughs> what? Oh, for the mass murder of the peaceful mobs? Eh, well. That's understandable. When I play on other um, servers, I do tend to be quite the murderer of mobs. Especially servers that have the more mob heads, because you gotta catch them all. I mean, um... <laughs> okay. Where's the flint and steel? I know there's a flint and steel in here somewhere, because I had it just the other day. It's like, where is it? 
Did you guys, oh, maybe they took the flint and steel and used it something. I can just make a little. I may be just like looking right past, oh, yeah, I did. I looked right past it, it's right there. Because I am completely and utterly oblivious to everything. Okay. I need more food. There's nothing really food-like in here. Um. Oh! We can do that, like... I can totally do that. We can, like, start working on that, like, after I do the, um... Auckland farm. You guys can help me, because I need to dig it out and everything. Rees blaze rods a lot. Yeah. Well, we can do, like, potions of harming or weakness, excuse me, without. But yeah, if we want any other kind of potion, we definitely need more nether vort. <laughs> you know what would be hilarious if you guys got a whole bunch of skulls, like, now? So early in the game? Where's the- oh, there it is. Took it a second to come into frame. We need to like build a bridge across this chasm. I think somebody already said that earlier. I can't remember who told me that. Was it you that here that said that I needed to build the bridge? I'm glad I am not the one trying to take on the fortress because yeah, I would have died way more. Oh, that was weird sound. All right. Let's get this thing built, shall we? Ooh. Workshops for days. Uh-oh. I hear dangerous things happening over in the nether. Uh-oh. Language, dear. I mean, I totally understand, but... <laughs> Sideless fortress? Is that what you said? I would prefer it if you guys, you know, didn't die a horrible death multiple times. Yeah, okay. Okay, we will- when, once we're done with this thing... Totally like um, do the skelly farm next. Okay. 
Ciao. Language. Yeah, I know. It's kind of silly me saying that. I'm going to stop it now. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was like, I never swear. Ha 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 ha. I don't have any actual scaffolding because mean well we this goodness knows why it didn't occur to me to um make scaffolding while I was like you know doing everything that would have made sense we don't do that Yeah, I mean, tele no shame in teleporting home if you need to. If you can follow the path I made to the Soul Sand Valley, you can go check out that um, fortress and see if it's any better. Or could you could bypass that fortress and go to the fortress that was in the the warped forests that I found, <laughs> because apparently we're just being followed by fortresses. Grab the nether wart and run. That no insides in this nether fortress at all. Like I said, if you guys want like to try, you can try to follow my, my path to get to the other nether fortress. What now? No, it's, it's not safer, right? I mean, it's another fortress. They're never going to be safe. <laughs> oh, sudden FPS drop. I think that's OBS. Is like, will occasionally just like suck up all my FPS for no apparent reason. You got an inside list nether fortress. Crunchy exterior without the creamy insides. I like that one. That's, that's, yeah. Oh! I think I may have found a bastion. Yeah, like you're ready for a bastion. I know, right? I don't know if it is though, it looks small, but it's on my map and I don't know what it is. You need, you need the nether wart, that's why you guys have been... Oh, oh, that's supposed to be dirt.
broken out. Really wishing we had the unpackable nether wart box now. <laughs> no, I, I, I agree. We're okay without it. It's just a mildly frustrating thing at the moment. I get you. That is running away. Like brave Sir Robin. He found a play spawner? I mean, we could make a blaze farm later. Stay safe, guys. This is Minecraft. I did not need that. I'm just making a farm. Workshops. No. Yeah, everyone. How are you doing? Listen to the cat. How's it going? How are you doing? I'm building a pork chop farm while my family tries to raid a fortress with no inside. <laughs> that still is amazing. They can't find the inside of this fortress, which is just all sorts of scary. It's an insideless fortress. All the windows show brick. Have you tried just like digging through pieces? Like, oh, you've been digging and you still, oh, wow. Oh, that's the wrong block. What the heck? That seems like a very unfortuitous fortress that you've got there. Oh my goodness, you're gonna break your pick? That's not good at all. Like I said, there is another um, fortress. Well, yeah. Um, bastions, sometimes. I, I know that's not much better. But hey, you, maybe you'll get an armor trim. We'll be able to upgrade our iron armor to nether, right? Oh, no, wait. Hold on. That's not the thing I wanted. I mean, that's a thing you can do, but... It's 
so much difficulties. I mean, I don't, I can't think of anywhere else that you can get nether wart. Hey chat, do you know where we can get nether wart? It's just, it's just fortresses and bastions, right? Like nobody trades it or anything. Huh. I don't know. God, I need to make slabs too. I've got a crafting table. I mean, I can do that. Because I'm using cobble instead of glass for this outside wall, I do need to put slabs around the top of it to keep the hoglins from spawning on the wall. So this farm is like really simple and I love the like the whole like way it works. So hoglins are afraid of warped fungus. If a hoglin sees a warped fungus, it will run away from it. Since the entire farm is ringed by warped fungus, they will try to run towards the center of the farm to get away. The trap doors make them think that they can run in and away, but they can't because they're not open. So instead, they just go ah, plop. We light it up to reduce the amount of um, piglins and ziglins that will spawn. There's still a few spots that end up, even with this amount of torch pan, where they we will still get a handful of ziglins and piglins, but most of them like will just despawn on their own and not be a problem. And the hoglins can spawn in places where the torches are. They don't need it to be super dark in order to spawn. So even though it's super bright, the hoglins will still spawn. This is why also when you are building things in the nether, like we have this whole roof thing going on here. Like if you do a nether roof portal system with paths and everything, you want everything to be unspawnable blocks. So you want to put like carpet or slabs on top of your um, portals because sometimes you will get hoglins that will spawn on top of portals. Not often, it's not like a super frequent thing, but it is still a thing that does happen. And like, if you wanna do an ice road, you need to put like buttons on all of your ice. to keep things from spawning on it and all that kind of thing. Um, if you have a roof system like by a warped forest, you're still going to get endermen because they will teleport onto the roof from below because endermen teleportation is weird. that spot so I can get back up. Ooh. And this is a nice big area for all of the hoglins to spawn on. And we use the soul sand and soul fire to burn them up, which will cook all our pork chops for us nice and handily. And um, kill them quicker. Soul, soul fire is hotter than regular fire, and so they will die a bit faster. I don't know how many of these I need. What? Ice with regular terracotta makes...
I, that may, that was not nearly enough thingies. That may be a universal dying thing, which is essentially it's you're washing the terracotta, which is really freaking cool. Okay, I'm a lot shorter on thingies than I thought I was. So this is going to be. Uh, I don't know if I have enough of everything to do. I may have to run back home to get more materials. Um, filling in the holes will be a big one. Or improving the village, filling in like the, the weird holes in the ground and stuff. There's definitely a lot of those. You know, like, kind of like just leveling out the terrain and filling in the, the gaping chasms and stuff. Oh, there's that. Now I need a bunch more slabs, which that's not going to be enough. So let's just run home and grab more materials. That fire's going. We might get some on the wall, so we have to be careful when we come back. But maybe I'll make some scaffolding while we're there. Yeah. And then, like, we're gonna do paths too. I'm thinking. So guys, I was t t thinking about doing the pass on the um, nether roof. And I was thinking sandstone slabs and cherry wood slabs. But I wanted to do like a third thing too, a third material to like kind of like make it interesting looking, a little more variegated. What else do you think would go well slab wise with those two? Yeah. Yeah, the cherry is pink. It's like this cute little pale pink. The birch were, yeah, that would be very light and like, yeah. I think bamboo slabs would go with everything else or would that look weird? Uh, well, well, we should uh, that, that that not know. Yeah, that's uh, that would be a problem. Maybe we'll like we'll like make a handful of everything, kind of like test it out, do a little test. Working on a big hole, filling it in, evening it out. Yeah, because this this village is a bit wonky. And so, yeah, I'm not no, I'm I'm not sure that's really what that means. <laughs> um, do you have enough sand and sandstoney type stuff, bud? Ah, that's a good idea. Yes, cobblestone to support the sand. Yeah, it's we have more of that at the moment. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Hopefully that'll be enough. We went to sleep. <gasps> I'm like just staring in here thinking I'm missing something. There was something I needed to do, I needed to grab, and now I completely cannot remember what it was that I wanted to grab. Well, hopefully this will be enough stuff. No, that's not what I want. Grab another one of those. And some more of those, just to be safe. Um... I'm 
Okay, how about another one of some more of those? Yeah, that'll do, I suppose. I make a lot of terracotta actually already. That's kind of cool. Um, okay. Are you gonna block him in? <laughs> oh no, he's climbing out. Okay. There's a really giant hole over here, by the way, behind the tower. That's an impressive hole. Did you get booted again? Oh, I wanted to make scaffolding. Did somebody fall in the hole while you were trying to fill it in? There's an iron golem caught in this bamboo. There's several in the water, actually. No, no, they are not. Did another villager fall in? No, just block the iron golems in. I am heartless. Okay. Back to the roof. Awesome. Hopefully. All right, giant chasm. Um, well, there's not a lot of cobblestone left, so. You can go get more sand. And I mean, you could go mining and get more cobble while getting more iron and stuff too, if you wanted. I just noticed that my sky is like in the nether too. That's probably not supposed to be like that. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of cool though. I'll leave it. mistaken because I need another layer of bubble here first. Apparently. Oh, nope, those are just extras, so no, I'm good. Alright. See, this is like a really simple design. You really don't need the schematic for this, but I think it's a logical geek boy design, like an old logical geek boy design. I'm not 100% sure. But 
but I do quite like Logical Geek Boy's designs, so it very well likely could be one of his. Yeah, the Iron Golem keeps getting themselves caught. I think because they think that they can jump up on top of the pot and then get caught on the campfire underneath it instead. There we go. Oh, nope. Hold on. I think I need another layer of those too. Yep, I do. Oh, that's a lot of smoke particles. Ow. Okay. Break through the wall here. Whoop! Did not need to do that. Fall oh. down. Okay. So now we gotta build our AFK platform, which has to be Oh, the bleeping way up there. Um, I'm going to prepare a handful of slabs before I do that. Because we're going to build the AFK platform out of bottom slabs. Daddy's house we have to leave because Daddy's house is really cool. Oh. Let's see. This. 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 And we're gonna alternate. And then we need... Where are the letters? Are, we, are they still in here? Did I just not grab everything? Yeah. Okay. for everybody. Actually, let's do that. Let's do that. Yes, the order in which I like stagger these things is very important. I don't know. It's just This is a long and tedious process of building up to the AFK platform. You bought too much pie and now you can no longer buy pie? Oh, you bought too much pie and the farmer has blocked the trade. Oh well. There will be more pie later, I'm sure. This is like an early game farm that like I very rarely like like edit or rechange as I go farther into the game and get better materials and stuff. So it's always going to be slightly janky and I kind of like that. I kind of like that it'll be like Oh, there's a new baby. Good. I ended I put like we had stolen a whole bunch of um, beds out of the village, so I put a whole bunch of new beds down for them. Because we're going to kind of use the village as our source when we go to make the um, trading stuff. Golden carrots? Oh, those are handy. You can buy golden... I spent a bunch of time earlier today designing a handful of buildings for the farm, for the, not for the farm, for the um, desert village. We're going to um, put in an actual proper house for us all to live in uh, with storage and everything um, and a wool farm and an iron farm and a library full of librarians to trade with. 
And so my son and I spent a bit of time today designing the buildings for those. And that was really fun. And we're going to kind of like revamp the desert village to look more cool. <laughs> to look cooler. Etc. So I'm very excited about that. And then I'm very excited also because once we get our house built, we can stop living out of a a um, chest monster out in the open, which is always a good thing. Are you swapping pies over there? You bunch of pirates? Once you start getting this high up when building things like this, you start to get a little nerve-wracking. I'm like, I'm just going to walk right off of it at some point. I can feel it. I didn't grab the glass block, did I, that I wanted to use? I did not. Because why would I actually be properly prepared? Oh, well. I like to put a block of glass where you actually stand for the AFK spot because then you can look right down below your feet and watch as they all spawn and run into the fire. <laughs> Frankly, the pain they put us through when they attack us while trying to navigate through the never, the hoglins deserve it. high up. Whoa, hello. Hello, Nexus the F XG. Welcome to the stream. I am in the middle of you nearly gave me a heart attack with that and threw me off into the the, the void. Um, I am building a hoglin farm here on my family's realm. And I'm building a pillar up to the AFK spot. Which is always slightly nerve-wracking. Uh-oh. Eh. That's obnoxious. You're just gonna fall off into the void if I break you too. Yeah, but oh you're just kinda now you're falling off into the void. Oh, you're just trying to like run a bot to try to find out the IP of my server so you can join? That's kind of rude. You just walk around scraping stuff? Wow. Oh, thank you for the creepy noises, Minecraft. I appreciate that. You were going to go caving without your water bucket? A likely story. It's full of axolotl. Oh, that's right. Well, we have like enough iron to make another bucket. I think we actually have a spare bucket in there. So high up. Oh! Build limit! Finally! Okay. I pull out my slabbers. Slabbers. Oh, actually, I did want to put a thingy there. Put 
the slabs on. Oh, that was mildly heart stopping. I just like to do a little checkerboard pattern just to make it look a little bit more interesting because like I know it's already looks kind of janky because of the whole early game materials thing but you know No. My fingers are starting to cramp from holding shift for so long. Go north because you went east enough. I mean, that does kind of make sense. Okay, I'd have to give my hand a rest here. My pinky is starting to uh, cramp up. <gasps> oh. oh my goodness. So how's everybody doing? Are we enjoying the stream? Is this an interesting thing to watch me building a farm? I don't know. I don't know what's like, interesting half the time. Ugh. Okay. Ow. Okay. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Not much longer. And we'll be at the proper spot to AFK, because we want to AFK essentially right over that torch in the center of the thing. Whoa! You got creepered. You were in midair? That's something. Oh, you you jump you tried to jump away but didn't quite make it. Now I think this is essentially where we need to be. I'm gonna double check the spot by doing this. Actually, it looks like we're a little off. Yeah, we're a little off. Oh look, we've already got some hoglins dying for us. Okay, so we actually kind of want to be here, which means I should probably extend this out a little bit. But I can't place anything up here because we're at build limit. So we're just going to sit up here for a little while. We're close enough to the center. Um, that it, it shouldn't really bother. I just don't like being so close to the edge when... Negative 46 is where you died? Oh, where am I? Yeah. You were in midair. Yeah. All right, let's head down. We probably already have a handful of pork chops waiting for us, which will be nice. That, that's pretty philosophical of you, dear. You could turn off this attic now. It has served its purpose.
this is so slow, but it's so much safer than trying to do anything else when you can't. Right here, dying hoglins. That's kind of a cool looking tower. I kind of like that. Mmm, pork chops. And there's egg glass. We always need redstone. I need so much redstone, it's not even funny. Well, that's a lot of pork chops for just like the amount of time it took us to build stuff. Yep, we need redstone for brewing. We need redstone. I'm gonna put this glass back so that when I do that, actually, I'll do this now. Make a handful of extra. back I can extend that AFK platform out properly. But for now, this is enough food to get go to be getting on with. And it is awful mining deep slate, especially when you're still with iron tools. I'm coming back with a whole crap ton of leather, by the way. I'll grab a whole bunch of um, sugar cane and make some paper. See if we can get a good en get an enchanting setup going. I've got thirty just from like sitting at the from building the farm. So Coming out on the wrong side. Sploosh. Okay. Rocks and stones and stones and rocks. See, see, I keep getting. This is a joke that I might, I can't sing anything because I might get copyright pinged. Because my, like, both of my last two streams have gotten muted because the AI detected that I was using an unlicensed song. But when you go through and look, and it said to see what song it thinks I'm using, it's a completely different song by a completely different artist than the song that I have playing right now. I only play Purple Cat music on my stream. Um, if you go to my about me info, like when you're in the chat, if you go to the about me and scroll down, there's like a little widget doodad panel. I think they're called panels with um, links to all of Purple Cat's sites. Um, I list the Purple Cat song that is currently playing in the lower right hand quarter, um, right above my um, uh, words, um, closed captioning. So. Um, So it's really not that I'm like stealing any of Purple Cat stuff. They just think that all um, lo-fi music sounds the same and I'm getting pinged for a completely different song, which I am not playing, which I find mildly hilarious to tell you the truth. Okay, let me go ahead and take that bread out of this thing. That's torches, leather, okay. Let's go get some sugar cane and make us some books. Don't touch that sugar cane. This is illegal for high sugar cane. One, two, three, four. We should put like a little fence around it and then put a sign on the fence so we don't accidentally break the sugar cane. Yeah, it's almost time to finish up. That's why I don't feel bad making a whole bunch of books right now. In your house in the barrel under the bed okay 
You you have the most interesting storage solutions. Yeah, your your house is very tiny. This is why I need to build us a our, our big official house. I tell you my game is actually running a lot better now that I'm on 120 than when I was on 19 with all of the via fabric stuff. No, and I don't really think it's be a fabric per se. I think it's just that it's like, you know, the whole having to change everything and adapt was making it very difficult for my computer. And now that it doesn't have to do all the adaptive mathy stuff, it's behaving much better. You're doing the pokey holes? More sand is good. I left a whole bunch of shovels over by the mining area, so the 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 mining desert. So, oh no, nope, there's more left over. Oh. That, no, we have more paper. I'm gonna say, is that all the paper? We have? Okay. Forty-four books. It should be pretty good for enchanting, I would think. Now we need wood for shelves, right? I have no, we have no wood. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna chop down one of the cherries and use it. I am always sustainable, especially with the cherry trees because they're so pretty. Peace, love, and plants. I love the particles on these things. They're so pretty. Ooh, fast leap decay. Mining desert? The mining desert is at... Okay, if you go through the roof portal that's at the jungle. Okay. From there, you want to head north, west, and that will take you to the mining desert portal. And when you get to the mining desert portal, you want to go southwest to get to the mining desert area. And that is there. If you hover over where it says add, it will you will be able to see the coordinates. Two more four high sugar canes? That's kind of cool. What, what happened? Uh-oh. Run from the creepers. Are you on the ceiling now? Okay. Yeah, we'll get a path in at some point, and that'll make it easier. like as long as you bring him back that's the thing is if you take the camel out to the mining desert you're gonna have to ride him back to the portal okay that's 14 bookshelves we almost have a full enchanting setup already actually do we have more books we should have more books right yes we have more books we have a full enchanting setup I don't 
don't think I have any birch saplings, do I? I know we have an, I have an acacia, you have an oak. Did you grab any spruce? I want oak though, so let me go grab that oak. I want to look at your house anyway. Oh, I love- oh my god, you did the cute little thingy with the thingies. That's adorable. You have a decorative iron golem too. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Buttons don't do anything, right? Uh -huh. Fancy. Yeah, you've got an oak sapling. Oh, you got yourself a dune armor trim. Fancy pants. Oh yeah, that, that's right. Okay, cool. Um, I gotta find some place to plant this. We need dirt. Now, I, I think I have dirt too, because I used some of it to build the thingy, but... Oh, blocks. I've got six blocks of dirt over here, so I'm just going to come over here and... There. That'll work. Do I have any bone meal? That's a question. I think I saw some bones in here somewhere. That, that was... Yeah, I found some bones. Don't worry. Tomorrow, why don't... For stream, why don't we build the... Um, Skelly farm. Why don't we do that on stream? Does that sound cool to you? I had enough, but thank you. I appreciate it. And now we have a whole bunch more oak saplings. But nowhere to put them. No, it's fine. I figured out what to do with it. Maybe that's too dark. I don't know. I'll have you guys come over um, and look at my little palette of stuff here and tell me what you think. I guess I could go for an adventure um, and see if I could find some... Um, whatever it's called. Birch. I think that oak might be too dark. But then again, I think it might look good to add a little bit extra visual interest to it. Where are you, Llama? Oh, you're doing the mining thing. Okay. Well, this... Did you, did you see the coordinates? Negative 927, negative 1013. Yeah, we, that, yeah, no. Maybe I'll go see if I can find some birch. Maybe birch will be good anyways. Just like have like five different blocks. What do you think? Eh. We did we even go past any birch? Oh yeah, there's a forest also by the um, jungle up north too. There might be birch in there, or down by the um, acacia village. There's usually birch and yeah, there's birch and forests. So I could pop over there, grab a couple birch. So it is time to pause. Yeah, okay. I'll pause in front of my palette. <laughs> okay, everybody. Thank you, everybody who stopped by. I appreciate all my chat. Uh, uh, the golem is killing himself on the campfire again. Yeah, I told you I mined a bunch of sand earlier today. Um, so anyway, yeah, just ignore the golem. Um, Taxi and I would like to say thank you for everybody who stopped by. We appreciate it a lot, don't we, Taxi? Yes, you're a good little llama. 
I'm a, oh my God, you're a good little camel. Yes, camel. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, just your little ear flaps. I know, right? Okay. Yeah, the partner just said they should name tag him Taxi the Camel. Oh my God, he's got his head right above mine and it's so cute. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to go away. <laughs> Thank you everybody who stopped by and watched. I really appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate it when you guys chat and I just like it when you guys stop by in general. It's really fun to be able to chat with people while I'm building and doing stuff. I will see you all later. Um, you guys all have a great day. Bye-bye.